Ellen McCauley, Pray It Off in Syracuse, New York. Now that we've talked about letting things go, I have no stress, my life is perfect, I'm all happy dappy, now I'm going to worry about what am I going to eat, how am I going to be healthy. Remember, we're in a no judgment zone here. I have picked three, four logs. The first log, let's take a look at. This person stayed the same. Now, this person stayed the same and went to the gym for three hours in one week. Now, I don't know what's in that broccoli salad. I don't know. Salad sometimes denotes mayonnaise. I'm not sure. Veggie sandwich. That sometimes denotes sandwich bread. And then there's pasta with mushrooms and Brussels sprouts. Now, pasta, I don't know. What's it mean? A half a cup of wild rice? Or does it mean, you know, a pound of angel hair spaghetti that I sucked all in? I don't know. Four crackers. Now, as I look at that, what, now there's a banana for breakfast, but that's only two servings of fruit. Maybe instead of the four crackers, an apple. Then corned beef sandwich for lunch. Two rice cakes with jam for a snack. A piece of cake and ham. Now. Is this the low sodium, low calorie ham? I don't know. But they had a corned beef sandwich on Saturday, and then they liked it so much they had a corned beef sandwich on Sunday. Ham again on Monday. Pasta and veggie salad with rice crackers and jam for a snack. A bowl of cereal for a snack. Here's what I'm saying about this. The only reason this person stayed the same is why. They went to the gym for three hours. And you know what I say? Great! If you can eat like this and stay the same and go to the gym, fabulous. I, no judgment zone. Fabulous. But if you want to lose some weight, or maybe this person's maintaining. I'm, I forget. It's so funny. I couldn't tell you who these people were right now. Not really. I know who they all are. But anyway. <laughs> if you want to lose weight then here's where you would cut back. One corned beef sandwich a week, low sodium ham, maybe uh, for instead of snacks of rice crackers and jam or uh, rice cakes, cereal, you have apple or fruit. Now let's look at this next log. They gained four pounds. All right, now, I don't see all the waters checked. I don't see eight, eight ounce glasses of water checked. Let's take a look at Friday. Two servings of shredded mini wheats with skim. And I guess that that's more than two. I doubt that this person got up the measuring cup and went three quarters cup, three quarters cup. So if they're saying two servings, maybe it's two bowls, maybe it's three, three servings. No lunch here. Brussels sprouts, banana, orange, diet Pepsi, strawberries. Interesting. All right. The exercise is two 20-minute walks. That's good, but what is that, a mile? Maybe if they walked really fast, two miles? And then they've got two more servings of shredded mini-wheats, two pieces of pizza, bacon, six cookies, two glasses of wine, Saturday. I don't know what a pot sticker is. Does anyone know what that is? Does anyone know how many calories are in a pot sticker? A lot. a lot. Is there sodium in a pot sticker? And they had seven. No judgment. No judgment. This is a log. We're looking at their life and we're saying, let's look at Sunday. Shepherd's pie. I, I, every shepherd's pie I've ever seen has a lot of calories in it. Life cereal for breakfast, life cereal for dinner, too many cereals. You should only have cereals once a day. Four cookies, too many cheesecakes, tarts. M&M's for lunch on Tuesday. What I'm seeing here is the four pounds. Now, that's all I want you. You're the facilitator. Do you see the four pounds? Yep. All right. What we need to do here to get rid... I mean, you know what? I see, I see macaroni and cheese on a lot of your logs. Let me tell you something about macaroni and cheese. I wanted it last week so badly that Bob and I had a long discussion about it. I said, I just got to have it. Ever do that? Ever say you have something in your head? Yeah. We took spaghetti squash yeah. and low-fat cheddar cheese 
It was to die for. It was the best macaroni and cheese I ever had. Bob, was it good? It was very good. Did you want to marry it? I wanted to marry it. I wanted to marry it too. I didn't want to just date it, be engaged. I wanted to marry it and have children with that. So, if you're hungry for something, make it low calorie. Okay, let's look at the next one. This next person lost two pounds. Well, they had... Now, they do write none for exercise. Remember I told you just leave it blank? Because sometimes if I look quick, sometimes, not this person, but some people write none, and I'm thinking, oh, they have exercise. What? None? So just leave it blank. But they had four hours. Now, I'm assuming it's pool aerobics. Because I know a lot of people that can spend four hours in a pool and never move. <laughs> right? So I'm giving this person, because they lost two pounds, the benefit of the doubt that they're moving around in there. Also, uh, they had uh, smart ones, hard-boiled eggs, rotisserie chicken, uh, and they had a potato on Saturday. I'm not against potatoes. What I'm saying is sometimes people have too much. Uh, the only thing I'd fault them on is they need a little protein for breakfast. Black coffee and banana, you need a little egg beater, you need a little something to keep you going for the day because you can't sustain that if you're not having something of substance for breakfast. Okay, the next person lost three pounds. Okay, 30 minutes on the treadmill, an hour, one hour, doing something, one, what? Oh, an hour video. Hey, I don't care what you do. You want to put a video in and do it? Fabulous. So look at all these videos. I'm assuming they did that at home. Wow, you can exercise at home. Greek yogurt, scrambled eggs, and they even had hash browns. Now, this per look, at, look at Saturday. Half a lasagna, fried zucchini, some lasagna, and some dried pie? Oreo pie. Oreo pie. But then as the week went on, they cut back. Yes, carrots and hummus, etc. So if you want to have a meal like lasagna, have it on Saturday. Everyone's different. Everyone can eat this or cannot eat that. But the thing is what Christian said tonight. Unless you change, unless you eat less and move more, you will not lose weight. I'm going to stop right there and do one more, Bobby.